In the name of Allah, the most curious, the most merciful, here I back again with the new lesson which will be for the third grade. Uh, this is here uh, unit four, who used my toothpaste, who used my toothpaste, began to the unit four, which will be page about page 40. This is here page 40 and 41 and 42. So, um, today I'm going to talk about the present perfect with already, yet, and just. Now, those are the tools. So, now here, this is here a tense, one of the 11 tenses in, in the English language. So, look at the using of uh, this tense. So, I'm going to use it, uh, regarding to the present perfect, to talk about events that happened before now. So, I'm going to use it for the things which is already happened and uh, happened before this moment. So I'm going to use uh, this one here. So look at the two sentences here, okay? This is here, uh, uh, present perfect tense. I have finished, I have finished the test. So this is here, present perfect tense. While this one here, I finished the test. Maybe it is yesterday or the day before. So I don't know about actually the time. So this is here, I regard to the time and that one, it is not concerned with the time actually. So the tools, <clears throat> the tools for this tense are yet and just already. Yet and just already. Okay, so what are the rules? that I'm going to make this tense correctly, to formalize this tense correctly. So this is here the rule, has or have with the verb three, past participle, past participle. So this is here actually on the page uh, 83, and those are almost the words which I use it, or the tools which I use it with this tense, which yet already and just. And be attention, the verb here, Regarding to the past participle, should be regular or irregular. That's it. So, um, now here, uh, it is possible that even have been earlier than expected. Okay? So, I translated those items. Look into the questions. And we're going to have, uh, now here, yet, it will be for the question and for the negative. For the question and for the negative. Now here, just it is for the affirmative sentence. For the affirmative sentence. And last one, which is already... This will be for the questions and also for the affirmative. So look at this. Have you done? Have you done the dishes yet? Have you done the dishes yet? Yes, I have already done them. Yes, I have already done them. No, I haven't done them yet. No, I haven't done them yet. So this is here regarding to the question and also regarding to the negative. Now here, have you already washed the clothes? Have you already washed the clothes? Yes, I just washed them. Yes, I just washed them. And here, no, I haven't washed them yet. No, I haven't washed them yet. So yet here, coming, began to the negative and also to the question. Negative and to the question. And also here, just, it's coming for the affirmative and also, <coughs> this is here for the sentence which is affirmative. And already, <coughs> it's coming for uh, the question and also affirmative sentence, affirmative sentence. So this is here the present perfect tense. Let's head to the next point, which will be about this one here. Verb plus gerund, verb plus gerund. What do I mean, uh, what do I mean by gerund? Gerund here, look at the gerund here. It is about um, neighboring verbs, neighboring verbs, one, the first one is one of those verbs, one of those verbs. The second one, the second one is a, a normal verb adding with the ing which will be turned to be noun. So be attention for this note, be attention, be attention. Any verb after, after these verbs, after these verbs, uh, which is below, avoid, enjoy, give up, imagine, mind, stop, can't stand, finish, hate, keep, miss, and suggest. Okay, any verb coming after those verbs, so it will be coming as gerund. It will become gerund. Now, so look at this. Avoid talking. Please avoid talking. Enjoy um, doing. Enjoy doing. Uh, give up uh, writing. Imagine um, uh, playing. Okay, if you didn't mind uh, talking, 
stop playing so those are two verbs the first one is normal verb like this one here and the other one should be with the ing and it will be turned to be now and it will be turned now look at this avoid talking enjoy doing finish working keep writing keep writing okay suggest uh, i suggest uh, speaking I suggest a speaking class. So this is here, how does this work? So look at the example. He can't stand waiting in the line. Now here, we miss being of, uh, with our friends. Now number three, I don't enjoy sitting, sitting in the sun. They stop playing tennis in the winter. So look at this here, the second verb, the second verb after these verbs, I'm talking about the second one, taking the ing and this will be coming as a noun. This will be coming as noun. Okay, then we will turn to the next point, which will be two words as a verb. Two words as a verb. Two words as a verb. Um, uh, maybe um, uh, they are three kinds. No, now here, um, two verbs neighboring each other. Now here, two verbs separated with each other with the noun and the other one uh, coming with the pronoun, coming with the pronoun, okay, or came with the pronoun. Look at this. Two words verb are coming in English language. They, um, they have a verb and particle, particle, object pronouns always come between the verb and the particle. So look at this. Tearing down the TV. Tearing the TV down. Turn it down. This is here. Use the pronoun. Use the pronoun. And this is here. Separated two verbs. Separated two verbs between them and noun. And this is here. Verb. Two verb neighboring each other. Neighboring each other. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Turn it down. This is here. Example of that one. Put away your clothes. Put your clothes away. Put them away. Because this is here a ruler. This is here a ruler. So let's sit to the first exercise, which will be about this one here. About this one here. So let me adjust that image. And... Okay, so here. Work with the partner. Ask and answer about the pictures. Have you done the dishes yet? Have you done the dishes yet? Yes, I have already, already done them. I have already done them. Picture number one. Have you set the table yet? Have, have you set, have you cleaned, have you cleaned the table yet? I have already set the table. Okay, number two. Uh, now here, <clears throat> have you vacuumed under the bed yet? Have, have, have you vacuumed under the bed yet? Yes, I have already vacuumed under the bed. Under the bed. So, number three. Have you taken out the garbage yet? Have you taken out the garbage yet? Yes, I have already taken, taken out the garbage. Now here, number four. Have you fixed the door yet? This is here, huh? regular verb. Regular verb. This is here, irregular verb. Okay. Have you fixed the door yet? Yes, I have already fixed the, the door. Fix the door. Listen to the next exercise, which will be exercise B. Exercise B is also about the G rund. Okay, look at here. Uh, work in small groups. Which of the following do you enjoy doing? Enjoy doing. Enjoy doing. Which of the following do you dislike doing? Add your own ideas. Number one, I enjoy. Huh, look at the picture. Exercising. Enjoy exercising. Any verb, those 10 verbs. The second one will be noun. Two, I can't stand waiting in the line. I can't stand waiting in the line. Number three, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking. Number four, I hate shopping in crowded stores or malls. Number four, look to him. Okay, I don't enjoy ironing. I don't enjoy ironing. Number five or number six, number six, I don't mind going to the barber. I don't mind going, going, mind going, mind go, going to the barber. Okay, listen to the next exercise, which will be exercise C. Rewrite each sentence with the two words, verb, in two ways. Okay, so look at here. Turn on the TV. Turn the TV on. Turn it on because TV. Okay, things. Okay, number one. Put away the toys. Put away the toys. Toys, ruler. Okay, put the toys away. Put them away. Number two. Um, clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. Clean the mess up. Clean the mess up. Separate it. 
clean and up between them the now one clean it up number three take out the garbage take out the garbage take the garbage out take it out number four turn off the light turn off the light turn the light off or turn it off number five throw away these old shoes throw away these old shoes throw these old shoes away throw these old shoes away throw them away throw them away Okay, let's turn to the next exercise, which will be exercise D. Make sentences, um, we're going to resembling them. Uh, now here, uh, rearranging them. Um, make a sentence with the words, use a gerund, use gerund. Okay, look at here, desert, desert, uh, desert, 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 eat after meals, can't resist, I. Okay, I can't resist eating dessert, dessert after meals, after meals. Number one, she clean, can't stand the house. Now here, she can't stand cleaning the house. She can't stand cleaning the house. Number two, left our grandparents join in the country. Our grandparents enjoy living in the country. Number three, the children hate their ice cream share. The children hate sharing their ice cream. Number four, eat mom's food. We miss, we miss eating mom's food. Number five, my sister, my toothpaste use a stop, have to. My sister has to stop. My sister has to stop using my toothpaste. Okay, number six, the workers paint the house finished. The workers have finished painting the house. Okay, let's go to the next page, which will be a page 42 about you. About you. Now here, eight questions. Number one, do you have applications at home? What do you have to do? Yes, I do, such as clean my room. Number two, do members of your family share household chores? Yes, they do. Number three, do you share a room? If yes, do you have any problems? Yes, I do. There is no problem. There is no problem. Okay, number four. Do other families members use things? What things? Not the personal one. Um, maybe in general, books and headphones. Maybe. Okay, number five. What things shouldn't you share? As a teeth, a brush, and my clothes. Number six. Uh, now here, what things do you think it is possible to share? L um, possible to share, okay, laptop, books, pencils. Number seven, what do you think are the most common problems of people sharing the same uh, space? Okay, left dirty, lazy, not interesting of healthy place to live. Number eight, what can people do to avoid having these problems? Do their chores according to the importance of duty. Okay, so gentlemen, this is here the end of our lesson for today. I hope you understand, uh, understood it. So uh, I will meet you in another one. Thank you so much for listening for me. And bye-bye.